Okay. Uh, I just died. So I'm going to try again for playing the No Man's Sky Sentinel update. And, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to play on permadeath. Because that's the only way to play. Well, okay, it's not the only way to play. <laughs> but I've been playing this game long enough. I'm experienced enough. I should be able to survive permadeath. And here we go. Commencing initialization. Now, as we saw last time, the beginning of this game is pretty hairy. And uh, it can be pretty hard to survive. And last time I did not. Now what you have to do, ooh, there's some, okay, that's very encouraging. Uh, that orange there, that's, um, that's sodium and I need that to survive. That uh, powers my shield that'll protect me, it looks like in this case, from the cold. And I also need to get some ferrite dust to repair my scanner. My scanner helps me find ferrite dust. So, now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm much more used to playing, and I prefer playing like this. So you don't see my body. This is personal point of view, you know. Uh, we're gonna go after that ferrite dust there that I saw just a second, but I want to gather as much of this stuff as I can to begin. Seeing as it's all right here and I don't have to go anywhere to get it. All right, have I got enough yet? Extreme cold damage detected. Yes. All right. Okay, now let's do a scan. Although, again, you can see it right there. Extreme cold damage detected. Okay, so up, up, up we go. Up, up, up. And let's get this. Whoa, that's annoying. There we go. There, now that sodium will power my shields for a bit. Alright. And that hazardous plant will give me some oxygen, which I will also later need to live. <laughs> Alright, so where's my ship? Ship is that way. Any more sodium in the immediate neighborhood? No. Okay, let's go for the ship then. Oh, I'll collect this. This is dihydrogen. hydrogen. Always useful to have. Really, I shouldn't linger on my way to the ship. And I'm going to need the dihydrogen later to repair the ship. So. That's, uh, that's just a plant. I'm also going to need carbon. Now I need to be careful flying. It's very easy to fly too high and really injure myself in the fall. Alright. Especially, you know, we got some really high cliffs and things here. If I leap over a cliff and into a big hole, I'd like to say I can seriously injure myself. Alright. See, like something like this. <laughs> Careful to make that landing very gentle there. There's the ship. Ooh, cool creatures. So it looks like I get to live. I might as well gather some of this stuff here while I'm here.
Alright, a little more uh, ferrite dust as well, because I know I'm going to need that to repair the ship. Alright, where is the ship? <laughs> Okay. Got to be careful not to shoot an animal because you can, you know, convert normally docile animals into your enemies if you do that. So, being careful. Okay, it's just a squat, crappy little ship. All right. I'm in the ship. I get to live. <laughs> So the ship's all broken, and uh, I'm going to read the log. doesn't matter what you do, you get the same message here anyways. Repair ship systems, of course, and all right, so I'm going to first of all make some metal plating. I might have enough. I do. Alright, so let's repair part of that. Okay. This part I don't have and I'm going to have to go get. Uh, and also to repair the uh, launch thruster, I'm going to need pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. Now, again, I gathered dihydrogen, but. So I can make some dihydrogen jelly. And now I can repair that part. Okay, now I'm just waiting for it to recognize that. Oh, there's some oxygen. Let's gather that. All right. That's helpful. Alright, so this should give me a map. I always broadcast. Board the ship and consult ship diagnostics. I'm waiting for it to tell me vital ingredients missing. Request assistance to get the hermetic seal. And we go right back to here get our map and again just like last time it's training me how to play the game right because like these maps will come into use later as well right so you want to use it press E oh look there's a shelter right near me Okay, so my map is there. My shelter was up that way. So that's kind of cool. But let's gather some supplies here first. I want to make sure I'm in good shape before I head off getting that. So, okay, let's see what we got in here. So, usually it's just nanites. Sometimes it's uh, some technology with nanites. All right, what else? Got anything? Uh, it doesn't look like it. All right, now check my multi-tool. You see, there's some stuff here, and especially the analysis visor. I need carbon nanotubes for that. So I did pick up some carbon on the way in. I'll make some nanotubes, and now I'll install this thing. And carbon nanotube it. Now I have an analysis visor. If I press F now, 
See, I can find stuff. And also I can scan these. That earns me units, which is the game's equivalent of money. I like money. Money buys me things, useful things. And also, if I scan all of the uh, life forms, see I found four of eight already, that's also worth something. So I'm going to gather this here oxygen and I'm also going to gather this what is it, frozen tubers. So that's useful food. Whoops, careful. Gotta be careful. I've killed myself more times than I can count. Flying too high is just like a characteristic me way of dying. So I'm just warming up here, and you see my oxygen is almost down, so I'll use some of that. Oops, exosuit. So that's my life support. You see, it's almost zero there, so I'll use my oxygen. Now, this will also recharge my hazard protection. And actually, it's better than the uh, sodium at doing that. So whenever I see it, I'm going to want to gather it. So I'm just waiting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere significant during the blizzard. So I'll just stock up on the stuff. Oh. There's another animal, so that'll be five of eight now. Okay. Pick up a little more of that stuff. I'm gonna need that. So, see if I had taken off for that, sh that spare part right away, I'd be out there caught in this storm now and possibly in some pretty serious trouble. But, uh, oops, weapon charge depleted. But that can be recharged with carbon or condensed carbon. So we're just waiting up this storm now. So, I need pure ferrite. And the way to get pure ferrite is to build um, a refiner and then I'll take the uh, ferrite dust. I got 114 now, that should be enough. So I'll take the ferrite dust and uh, refine that. But I'm going to need a little more carbon to fuel the refiner. So let's just pop out here and see if I can find some. Boy, oh boy, there's not much carbon on this planet. Yeah, Alright. Okay, we better get back in there. Where's my ship? There it is. And back in the ship. <laughs> See, this is why you want to find the ship right away. Right, you're nice and safe in the ship. Although you can't stay there forever. Eventually your oxygen will run down and you'll die. So, you're kind of forced to get out there. And at the very least, find oxygen. Okay, here's the storm is clearing. So there isn't much carbon around here, so I'll just pick up carbon on the way to get that spare part. Alright, let's pop out of here and let's go get that spare part now. We're in pretty good shape. 
Ooh, it's a long way away, too. So... We'll just go as fast as we can. We'll just scan. If I get caught in the storm again, I'm gonna need protection. There's that hut as well. Okay, that's a mineral there. Oop, there's some of that sodium that's gathered at. Alright. Alright, let's see. What have we got here? I also thought I saw a plant of some sort here. An edible plant. No, okay, well, let's go for this shelter here. I like it at night. Oops. Free oxygen. Because these plants glow in the dark. <laughs> and where's the other one? I saw it up there somewhere. Get in here. I can warm up. There we go. So it's kind of lucky to have a base on the way. <laughs> so I'll still need to uh, replenish my suit. Alright. Let's see. That'll be some nanites. Again, those will be useful later when I'm trying to. Uh, this? Oh, supplies. Oh, okay. It's a hermetic seal. Even better. Alright, let's pop out. See what lies behind the damaged machinery. More nanites. Oop. Encrypted navigation data. There's some oxygen. And minerals and so, okay. Yeah, is that that might be uh, more sodium. And it's kind of on the way back to the ship, so good. Still no plants. See, oh, here's something. Oh, uh, it's just more ferrite dust. Okay. See, 
plants glow in the dark. <laughs> Alright. Heading back to the ship. We really need to find some carbon. Well, some sweet root. It's not carbon, but... Oh, that might be a plant. Yep. Oh, let's uh, scan it first. Collect the nanites. And the, and the units. Okay. Not much plant life at all here. Okay. Gather this sweet root. Oh, free oxygen. All right, we gotta now. Let's see, I think it's the sweet root. I'll improve my hazard protection. See, look at that, eh? Nice. Alright. Still looking for plants. Oh, there's some plants. Okay, good. They're hard to find, eh? And I saw another one down here. Yeah. I'm gonna get as many as I can because I'm also gonna need to charge my uh, charge my gun. For plants. That's why I'm not rushing here. I'm just taking the time I need to find plants. There's one. See, now I can probably survive pretty indefinitely out here. You know, unless I got caught in a storm, perhaps. Okay, I'm in the region of another base. That might be that one that I saw earlier. Yeah. All right. There's some condensed carbon. That helps a lot. All right. That's going to give me everything I need to get off of this planet. But we'll do this base first. Stinky means oxygen. And I see there's more condensed carbon down there. We'll take that. Oops. Alright, where's my uh, frozen tubers? Sweet root. Oh, okay. Sweet root takes care of the hazard protection. I thought it was the frozen tubers for some reason. Alright. Uh, here's a knowledge stone. It will teach me language. So and the first word it teaches me is the name of the species. Which is in this case the Viking. Three species, Viking, Gek, and Corvax. Then there's the Travelers, of which I am one. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then the Sentinels, of course. Which this iteration of the game is all about. Alright. Ready. 
see if there's anything in here. Yep. If nothing else, you can sell encrypted navigation. But it's also useful for buying maps. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, nanites. It's gonna keep keep giving me hermetic seals until I, I fix my ship. <laughs> I thought it only ever gave you one, but all right. Now, I also get nine nights for logging this base. So here we go. That also saves our progress. Should I quit? And even better, some supplies to pick up. And also very nice. Podium rich plant. Now let's see what's inside this base here. Oh, let's first recharge our suit. Oh, I'm not going to need that for anything else. So. There we go. Oops, all right. <laughs> There's usually containers of stuff around the base as well and often inside the base. Even better. Encrypted navigation data. Oh, this is nice. Let's see. Alright, this is one of these little puzzles. One times two is two. Two times three is six. Six times four is twenty-four. Twenty-four times five is one twenty. One twenty times six is seven twenty. It's a distress signal. And that could be a ship. Could be a ship that's even better than my ship. So we'll look for that. Alright, I don't see anything else here. Let's go over to here. Okay, we'll extract some more nanites. Oh, <laughs> no, we're gonna get another hermetic seal. <laughs> okay, let's see what he says. But of course, I don't understand any of his language. Alright, what do I charge the mining beam with? Carbon. Let's give him some carbon. Alright. That's all. That wasn't a good trade. <laughs> I need the carbon more than I need the language lessons. Alright, well, okay. It was still a useful visit. Let's see now, where is that distress signal? How far is it? Eight hours. Too far to walk. <laughs> we are not going to be doing this for eight hours. So, let's head back to the ship. I will just fly there and see what we find when we fly there. So and I'm still looking for carbon. See how useful it is to be a good aim, eh? And also with this game, you, you need to learn how to pick stuff out of the background. That's the key. 
And this is a nice find. Even a little, whoops, is that, no. There's even more carbon here. So that's good. Pretty stocked up on carbon now. And I will be able to. I'd go to that, normally I would go to that knowledge stone, but, you know, resources are still a bit scarce, and the language lessons aren't as useful at this point as they could be. They'll be pretty easy to come along, come across later on. So. Alright. Let's get into the ship. Okay, let's repair the pulse engine anyways with one of my many hermetic seals. Alright, so now I'm going to need to make a portable refiner. So I need metal plating and oxygen. So I'll make some metal plating. And I have oxygen. So let's make that portable refiner. And now I'm going to put the uh, ferrite dust in, give it some fuel. I'll use the condensed carbon. And start her up. Oh yeah, hit the end. And while it's doing that, I'll just pop back into the ship. Okay. So at some point also, I'm going to have to make some launch fuel. I won't need it right away, but I will need it in a bit. So let's die hydrogen. I'll need more of that and metal plating. So... Fortunately, there's lots of lots of ferrite dust around to make metal plating from. It mostly is the dihydrogen that's scarce, although it's not that scarce. We've seen quite a bit of it. But I'll just gather. Whoa. I don't know what that is. It freaks me out. Come back here. Meaty chunks. Okay. I can probably eat those. Hydrogen around here. No, that isn't so. Let's just scan. Because if I scan. Scanning will reveal the hydrogen if there is any around, but I don't see any around. But also nice to pick up a little sodium here. Myself alive. And there's my dihydrogen that I needed. A little more ferrite dust never hurts.
Alright, let's go back to the ship. I ain't got time. And we're back before anything bad happens. <laughs> is done. Yep. So I'll gather that and I'll pick this up. And that picked up all the fuel in it as well. So let's repair the launch thruster. And I'll also be able to make some uh, Some more launch thruster. So that's got to be good for me if I eat it, right? Let's check. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Uh, well, if worse comes to worse, I can probably process that into something. All right. So let's make some. Metal plating, and that makes some launch fuel. I don't need it right away, but I will later. So we're up, and let's find that distress signal because I'll bet you that's a better ship. Might not be, but hey, I'm not gonna pass over a gift like that. All right, still quite a ways away. So the trick to that is to go into space. And you go a lot faster in space. And here we are in space. Something like mining asteroids. Alright. Now we're going for my distress beacon. We'll see what's there. Definitely a spaceship, but it doesn't look like a good one. But there's all that stuff lying around, so. Alright. So, first of all, let's just gather all these stuff here. went into it. Oh, it's an A-class. Well, well. <laughs> Looks like just a shuttle, but it's an A-class shuttle with a broken pulse engine. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. So I'll just claim the ship. So let's just transfer this stuff and transfer that. Okay, so I've cleaned out, now I'll clean this ship. 
Alright, and now I've got a broken ship again. <laughs> But I'll be able to get this one fixed fairly in short order. But let's first see what else we've got here. Okay, search the ship. And I've discovered some technology. Teleport receiver. Okay, that's handy. I won't have the capacity to actually build one for a while, but... Nothing? Okay. Search. Alright. Let's see what I gotta do to repair this puppy. Okay. Pulse engine needs... Oh, hey! A hermetic seal, which I just happen to have an extra one of. And I'll make some metal plating. I will get that pulse engine fixed. Alright, what else? Deflector shield. Alright, chromatic metal I don't have any of. I won't for a little while. Same with this. Okay. Uh, okay. And this is all stuff I can repair on the fly later. This is all just storage. Is there any technology in here? Oh, look. Okay, lots of spaces, no actual technology. Um, but it doesn't matter. I mean, this ship will fly now. There's pulse engine and launch thruster, so we're good to go. Uh, what I don't have that I can really use is a hyperdrive. But <laughs> we'll figure that one out when we get to it. I don't think I had one on the other ship either, so... Alright. ourselves. You are not alone. Follow the whatever and input coordinate data. Alright. So, first I would like to visit the space station. Which is out here somewhere. might actually be on the other side of this planet. Is this going to be right here? Oh, uh, well, let's go here first then. See what's there. And back into the cold. This is a different planet though, I think. Be nice to fix those uh, shields. Land. What do I need? Oh yeah, chromatic metal and chromatic metal. So I can make chromatic metal. ones and all I need is copper all right let's go this way Oops. careful 
gravity's a bit stronger on this planet. Get this stuff first. Very careful about flying. Looks like there's more plants anyways. Oh, this really looks like a twin of the world that I just left. Unless this is the world I just left, I don't know. Well. Oxygen. I have to charge my mining beam. Alright, we found something here. Cipher signal. Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. So, so it really wants me to build a base, and I do like building bases, but it's too early in the game to build a base. Well, Oh. Oh. Extreme 
Okay. This that's life support, right? And I don't have anything else. Okay, I have to use the sodium. My precious, precious sodium. Alright, let's gather whatever's in here. Some of this. Nothing found. That's not very good. And, uh, right. Let's log this location. Yeah. That makes a nanite. This is the same planet I was on. Okay. That's why it was a twin. It's the same one. So I found six of eight animals. And there's number seven. If I can find them again. There they are. So now there's just one more. Let's check and see what it is that I'll need. And rare, uncommon, and underground. That's never good. I haven't seen any cave since I've been here. So I think we're going to be stuck at seven. All right, let's go back to the ship. Then we'll go up to the base, and we'll try to improve our lot in life. Do, do I have any? Hmm. Oh, terrain manipulator. That's what I want to be able to make. So, let's cargo. Let's make one of these. And now let's make a terrain manipulator. Technology installed. Hydrogen. Oh, did I need two? Yeah, I needed two. I guess. So let's make a second one. All right. And you might think, well, why do I need a terrain manipulator? Well, two reasons. First of all, I'm going to find some copper. Oh, okay. It's a cave, apparently. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's not good. Now, I'm diving underground. First of all, to avoid that animal but also to get out of the cold. See, now I'm in a cave. And I should be warming up, but I'm not. Okay. Well, I'm still no longer being hunted by that animal. So, that's good. Oh, it's only 26 units away. Might as well get it. This is a bug in the game?
Unless somehow he's in the cave behind me, but I don't think he is. Alright, let's get back up to the surface. I think I might have lost them. <laughs> Alright, where's my ship? We need these uh, for lunch fuel, recall. So. But anyhow, if I can find some copper, that's that guy that was hunting me before, so I'm not going to give him a chance. That's what I want. So I'm gonna pick up a little copper. And oh. and I'll be able to refine some chromatic metal. Copper deposit. Oh, great. Let's make sure I have room. Improve my life support power. Improve my health. some hazard protection here. Alright. Now I'm going to mine some copper. As much as I can. So that's what the terrain manipulator buys me, is it buys me the capacity to mine and that's how I get copper. And then like I say, I'll convert the uh, recharge. I'll convert the copper into chromatic metal. And that'll fix my shields and I'll make it a lot safer in my spaceship. But more importantly, it'll turn off all those alarms. See if there's any more left here. Yes, uh. Oh, come on. Technology recharge. So. Now this always says there's some left, even when there's none left. So. All right, back to the ship. Where's my ship gun? There he is. I think there's nothing there for me. Oh, there's something there. Okay. We'll take it. Whatever it is. Where's 
Where's my ship? <laughs> there it is. Refiner. And we'll put the copper in it. Where's my copper? There we go. Put the copper in it. Fuel it up. And start it up. And while it's doing that, we'll replenish our shields. So what else are we going to need from this sodium nitrate? Oh, and I don't have any. I don't have any. All right. I have sodium. So I can make sodium nitrate out of it. How much do I need, though? Uh, 13, and I have 28. So I'll just barely have enough. So uh, we're just gonna hang in there. If I use up the last of my sodium, then I won't be able to uh, almost ready. And how much chromatic metal am I even gonna have enough here? Oh yeah, I'll have enough. Good. Okay. Alright, so let's get that. Let's put my sodium in here. Again, this won't take very long at all. Have a swig of coffee. Alright. Wonder how long I've been streaming. Oh, I haven't been streaming at all, actually, because I forgot to start up the YouTube. Oh, well. Okay, and we'll load that up. Get back into the ship. Now I can repair, repair this. And my shield now works. And let's blow this popsicle stand. And let's find the space station. Here somewhere. There it is. And just down into the front of me a bit. Space station entrance is always facing the closest planet, so it'll be down here somewhere. And we get that triumphant music when we go into the space station for the first time.
having trouble finding the entrance to it. Longer than I would have liked, but oh well. And we're here. So Let's first of all go sell some stuff so that I have some cash. Alright, so let's sell. What do I got to sell? Salvaged data. That's more useful for other things later, but... Those hermetic seals aren't really worth very much, are they? <laughs> Again, useful for something else later. But... And that's it. That's all I got to sell. Anything on the ship? Oh yeah, some silver and gold. Leftover copper. Alright, that's it. That's all I got. Spend some of that now and upgrade my exosuit a bit. There we go. And the thing I want to get first is scanner technology. Oh, wait, let's first see. a bit surprising. It's All right, let's decline. I want to check and see what that is first. See if it's a better weapon than I have. Well, it is, but only marginally. Well, I can't afford it anyways. <laughs> Alright. So, let's see if I can upgrade my scanner. Why would I upgrade my scanner, you ask? So that I can make more money. So, so I don't have enough nanites to get a good upgrade. <laughs> but I have some to get a cheap upgrade. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere. All right. So there we go. So I'll upgrade my multi-tool with my cheap scanner upgrade. It's not worth much, but it's worth something. And I'll put this beside it to get the bonus. So that'll help me make a little bit more as I'm scanning things. So I'm started anyways. Got an A-class ship with shields. Need some repairs. Um, 
and I've got the capacity to make a little bit more money. But what I need to do now is go make money. That's what I need to do. But let's check on the time. 5.17 here. I think I'll call it for now. And uh, pick it up later. So we're done.